we were advised not to make eye contact with any of the tribal folks of the Bonda tribe as it would cause conflict with people. While government assistance plans for socio-economic development has been rolled out, it, in, it's a closely guarded way of living and customs that still dominate one of India's endangered tribal communities. Bonda Ghati is located 3,000 feet above the sea level in Malkangiri, Koraput division bordering Andhra Pradesh, Odisha and Chhattisgarh. People here live in hamlets which consist of a dozen small thatched huts surrounded by dangerous animals and poisonous snakes. Travelling to this place without prior permission is risky as this area consists of people from an endangered tribe. While civilization has not changed Bondas much, they are still believed to be highly superstitious. The outfit of Bonda's women is very peculiar and very distinguishable from all other tribal communities. The small piece of skirt ringa made of kirang fiber is usually used by the women of this community to cover their private parts. They buy the steel ornaments from Karaput in form of batter system. The turbans are self-made with their own traditional handloom machines. <laughs> Bondas men go to hunt animals for livelihood and if they don't get any, they believe that they cannot show their faces to women. Women go across the forest and collect leaves and mola seeds, which they used to make their daily dose of alcohol. मुदली पड़ा रे सर देखों तो थाना नहीं थाना थे ले बहुत सुविधा ही था ना मैंने ला कम्युनिकेशन बहुत लोरो ही था ना रास्ता घाटा भी ठीक नहीं कामों चाली ची तो मु चाऊ ची थाना थे ले बहुत सुविधा ही था ना मुदली पड़ा रहा आउ लोगों को मानों को परे मैंने एवारनेस नहीं चाइल मैरिज भी चाल ची � पानी रो सुविधा भी किच्छ नहीं तब रे कामों करी बाप में आंध्रो पड़े जाऊँ चुनते जीव मने सबो फैक्ट्री काजू फैक्ट्री ठीक है बाड़ा खाई रूपूट रहे ही गला तो सबु दिन रो अपन डाउन करी पारी बनी ना ऊपरे घाटी ऊपरे जो दी फैक्ट्री था ना ताहले इठी ही सबु कामों कर था ना आंध्रो काम करा पे जाइन School. It is observed that so-called NGOs working in these remote areas are exploiting the tribes by capturing their pathetic condition in the form of photos and videos. These are sent to some foreign nations and get a lot of funds. Unfortunately, not even a single rupee is spent on them. This is one side of the coin. Though a lot of funds are allocated in the budgets by elected governments, Middlemen eat major share and a meager share reaches them very rarely. These tribe have faith and fear in God, but the invisible spirit never come to their rescue. They live in risk, hoping that God will come to hug them when no one knows.